They've hung in closets or been tucked away in dressers for years. I have at least 40 or more at home. <laughs> T-shirts with precious memories, but no longer worn. Now your T-shirts can have new life as a quilt. As a quilt, your T-shirts tell a bigger story. Where you've been, what you've been passionate about, your life's work. I worked in Lake Middle School for about 20 years doing with students and I came from South Dakota so I had that in here. And it's obvious she loves horses too. Lois Weber teaches the t-shirt quilt class at the Apex Community Recreation Center. And we've had some beautiful t-shirt quilts go out of here. The class has grown in popularity in recent years. I've been researching how to do this trying to learn on my own, and it wasn't going to happen. But with the help of Lois, it will. Some people say, well, I don't do t-shirts because they stretch. I said, well, there's a little secret to that. <laughs> and that's what they're all learning in class, is the secret. It's called fusing. It involves ironing a fusible non-woven fabric to your t-shirt to help keep its shape. Let's say this is fusing. You're going to put your fusing material on here. Mm -hmm. You're going to iron it. Yeah. Press it down, count to ten. Mm -hmm. Move it. Don't go like this. Okay. Move it okay. like that. Mm -hmm. Fusing makes the fabric stronger. 16 to 20 shirts can be used for each quilt depending on its size. When you cut them separate, yeah. you go right up the side to the sleeve on each side. There you go. See? Over the course of four classes, students learn all the steps. The hardest part is figuring out the pattern. <laughs> well, it's going to look lovely once you get it all put together. I'm figuring out putting the border around the shirts and then the border around the quilt in long strips versus my short strips, because those come first. The entire quilt is machine sewn, except when we put the edging around the quilt, the back uh, edging is uh, sewed by machine, and then we fold it over to the front and, and fold it under and hand sew the, to the front. Some make quilts for children or family members, some for themselves. My husband used to donate blood at Bonfice Blood Center, and every time he went there, they gave him a t-shirt. And he has since passed away, and I'm using all of his t-shirts to make this quilt. He donated blood for 25 years, so these are all the history of Bonfils. So this was tied into the election. This was probably the fourth quarter of 2008. These are from the Bronco Drive. That, um, and I'm undecided about doing these because they're autographed. I've always wanted to learn how to quilt, and I have a grandbaby coming, so now is a prime time to learn how to quilt so I can make quilts for the grandbaby and for the family. This is like a practice quilt for me, and when I get good at it, then I will make a few more. My whole theme for um, my quilt is gonna be about um, car t-shirts. So my husband does auto upholstery, so we have a ton of t-shirts in regards to car shows. Um, so of course, car guys rule. Just one week later, Patty is tweaking her fused shirt pieces and getting ready for the next step. And I'm making sure they're all the same size before I start sewing them together. Three. Whoa, look at that. Whee, that a great deal. <laughs> With just a month of classes and some cutting and stitching, the personalized masterpiece quilts are ready to show off. So if you haven't been able to part with your old keepsake t-shirts, consider giving them new life in a quilt you will treasure for a long time. <laughs>